Phoenix Suns has won 18 games in a row. Tonight they play the Warriors, which that could be a very hard game to win, in my opinion. And the record is 33 straight wins by the Lakers in 1971. So that's going to be very hard to get to. They still have a lot more games left to play. And I don't really know if you can really withhold for that much longer of losing. They could lose the next few days. But how long do you think this record... Do you think they're going to break the record this year, or do you think no? an insane thing that happened in the NBA yesterday. The Grizzlies beat the Thunder 152-79. to This was the highest margin of victory in NBA history. Jaron Jackson Jr. had 27 points yesterday. John Morant didn't even play yesterday. SGA was out, but they shouldn't have. They should have at least scored 100 points against the Grizzlies. And this is honestly insane. That the Thunder are honestly going to be one of the worst teams in the NBA again. And I just don't think they need another player to go to the team. They need to get people to recruit people to go to Oklahoma. But I don't really know how many people want to play in Oklahoma City. So I think that might take a while to find a player like Kevin Durant that can really carry them right now. SGA is a very good player, but. I just don't think that consistently he can carry the team like that. This is jersey collection is unreal. Lamelo Ball, Bradley Beal, Kobe Bryant, Steph Curry, Vince Carter, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, Luka Doncic, Blake Griffin, James Harden, LeBron James, Nikola Jokic, Damian Lillard, Dirk Nowinski, Derrick Rose, Dwayne Wade, and Dominic Wilkins. Which this is honestly insane that he's all these jerseys. I'm pretty sure they're signed. They have to be. He's an NBA player, so. It's probably he should probably ask him after the game if he can have him more. He might just give him a jersey to sign, something like that. But this is honestly an insane collection to have. And he's probably going to make keep growing, so who knows how many he'll have by the end of his career. 76ers play the Hawks today, and I picked the 76ers to win. And later on ESPN that day, I, I picked the Lakers to beat the Clippers. And I think both games will be pretty close.